December 31st, the last year of the Belk Bowl. This is 11 a.m. on ESPN in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's Justin Fuente and the Virginia Tech Hokies against Mark Stoops and the Kentucky Wildcats. These are two teams that kind of got it rolling at the end of the year. Kind of got it rolling. Um, you know me. I love SEC teams in this matchup. I, I just do. And Virginia Tech has been in the Belk Bowl 400 times, it feels yeah. like. Like, they always this go to the This is going to be a home game. game for them. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Um, throughout the season, like, you, you just almost can't even look at stats because it is a tale of two seasons Correct. for – or a tale of two halves of seasons for both teams. Because early on, neither of them was, was very good. And then towards the end of the season – you know, Kentucky starts to get things rolling. I mean, they they ran for more than 300 yards in all four of their last four games, I believe. Like, they ran for over 500 against Louisville. Um, Virginia Tech made a change at quarterback. Like, kind of got that thing going. And they also have a quarterback that runs. Like, Lynn Bowden Jr. for Kentucky has been uh, the, the saving grace for that football program this year. Like... They they had everybody hurt at quarterback. But if you go and you look at their stats. I mean, they're running the Wildcat. That's all. That's what they run. Offensive rushing yards per attempt. Kentucky, 6.36 yards per attempt. That's number three in the country. That's like service academy numbers. Yeah. Like, it's scary. And Virginia Tech, number 32. In defensive rushing Mark yards Stoops per attempt. Mark done a hell of a job with this team. Uh, the other side of this, what Virginia Tech has done really well is hit explosive plays through the passing game, right? Agreed. Um, they run the football. They're not great at it. They're number 93 in the country in rushing yards per attempt. But they, they, they hit long passes because you are expecting them to run. They are keeping the safeties in the box because they expect the quarterback to run, et cetera. They're number 13 in passing yards per attempt. Kentucky, number 18 in defensive yards per pass attempt. Yeah. So, I I want to go Kentucky here, but I'm not going to. I'm going Virginia Tech minus 2.5, and, and I'm going to go under 46.5. I think both of these teams will run the ball a lot. Yep. This is Bud Foster's last game. Bingo. I think that they will be fired up for this spot. Uh, Talent-wise... I think both teams are fairly similar. You give me a, a coin flip game. I think Kentucky's, it's not just a coin flip game. I do think Kentucky's one-dimensional. They are 100% one-dimensional. And now you have Bud Foster who has basically three, four weeks to get ready for a team that just is running Wildcat, some form of the Wildcat slash option. Yeah. That's all they can do. Yeah. And and with that, I think Bud Foster gets after it. Yes. After it. I believe in you. Low scoring. Um, and and Kentucky's a good team. And what Mark Stoops has done all year is just an incredible job. But when a team has a month to prepare for your one dimensional offense, you better be really good. Especially when it is one of the legendary defensive coaches. Coaching in the game. his very last game. Yeah. He's not and those players aren't gonna let him down. No, I but, agree. I just think they're one dimensional, and that's the thing that scares me on 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 taking Kentucky here. Yeah, I'm with you. All right, so under forty six and a half for both you of see us. See that and Vatek the same. 